point graduates the largest class in the history of America's famous military academy. 514 cadets receiving their commissions as second lieutenants. 206 go directly into the Air Force. General Arnold, Chief of the Air Force, awarding the coveted wings. The traditional full dress parade. For the last time, the class of 1943 receives the salute of their comrades in arms. Before commanding officers, the entire cadet corps passes in review. First to finish the course in three years, they'll carry the flag to battlefronts around the world. in New York City, Gunder Haig, Sweden's great distance runner, is welcome to America. Welcome to the United States, Gunder. Thank you for welcome, sir. I'm glad to be here in America and I'll do my best. Haig, holder of seven world's records, loses no time limbering up his sea legs. sample of the form that won him international fame. Here to compete in athletic contests for army relief, the Swedish champion hopes to add new stars to his brilliant crown. <laughs> British warships patrolling the Mediterranean off Cape Bone Peninsula round up boatloads of Axis troops trying to escape from North Africa hauled aboard destroyers as prisoners. The small boats in which they tried to escape are machine gunned and sent to the bottom. Very few Nazis and Italians escape the British fleet as it combs the 90 miles of sea between Sicily and the North African coast. Before, Britain evacuated an army of 337,000 from Dunkirk. Today, there is no Dunkirk for the Axis. In Tunis, an Allied victory parade, led by French troops, passes before General Eisenhower and General Giraud. Mighty bombers of the Allied Air Forces roar overhead as British, French, and Americans march shoulder to shoulder, united in a common cause. somewhere in England, one of hundreds from which British and American flyers are taking off day after day, hour after hour, hammering the European continent with the greatest aerial offensive of all time. American-built bombers roaring across the channel, turret guns ready, ships loaded with bombs for a raid on military objectives in Nazi-held France. Over the target, and it's bombs away. A railway yard and an airport wiped out with a perfect pattern of direct hits. Mission a success, they turn for home. On the way, they pass fresh squadrons of flying forts bound for other targets keeping up the incessant pounding day and night. In North Africa, Captain Eddie Rickenbacker, famous ace of the last war, talks with pilots of General Doolittle's bomber command. These are some of the men who are softening up Italy and the continent for invasion. 
A cameraman goes along to record an attack on the Sicilian port of Marsala, only 90 miles across the Mediterranean from Cape Bone. Axis ships, docks, and harbor defenses crumple beneath the blow. The squadron returns to its base, many a plane brings home evidence of enemy fire, but every Allied ship came back. In the South Pacific, Allied air forces are increasing their attacks upon the Japs. Giant liberators, bound for Nauru, an important Japanese base northeast of the Solomon Islands, leave the enemy stronghold smoking and in flames. in the bleak, barren Aleutians. Here, more than 2,000 miles from the United States, planes lead the way in the drive that blasts the Japs from the island. <laughs> Infantrymen track down the enemy, prepared to fight hand to hand. The result, the Japanese garrison wiped out. American casualties are few. Today, United States forces control this strategic stepping stone to Tokyo. United States bombers race for Kiska, only 170 miles from Attu. Kiska, last Japanese-held island in the North Pacific. Flying over rugged glaciers and volcanic mountains, they make the trip loaded with bombs two and three times a day. Eyes glued to the bomb site, the bombardier presses the trigger that releases his lethal cargo. The target, a submarine base and air drill. Machine gunners beating off enemy planes. for a low-level attack. Coming in for a landing at their own base, pilots set down their ships on dangerously rain-soaked runways. From the Arctic Circle to the Mediterranean, Allied air forces are bringing the war home to the enemy, softening the axis for the day of invasion. <laughs> <laughs> 